Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We are here to give recognition to the worth, the beauty of love, and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words that will unite Tyler, Douglas, Borden, and Kimber, Ariana, Lysitra in holy matrimony. So the three of us spent some time together learning about the roles of marriage and this thing called oneness. And hopefully you'll hear me talk about that quite a bit, the two becoming one. Because it says in scripture that the two shall become one. And that's what's happening here. It's a supernatural event that you have all been invited to. Something that the Lord is going to put together, right? We've heard, let not man pull asunder what the Lord unites here today. The foundation. Tyler and Kimber, marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. Your marriage must stand by the strength of your love and the power of your faith in each other and in God. The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 13 wrote this, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. The Apostle Paul chose marriage to symbolize the union between Christ and His Church. And the Scriptures command marriage to be honored among all people. The union of a husband and wife in heart, in body, and in mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, their mutual help, and their mutual comfort to one another in prosperity and in adversity. The promises of God are sure and everlasting. Tyler and Kimber, now having accepted the terms of this covenant, we pray for the Lord to knit and join the two of you together so that you shall become one flesh and experience oneness as described in His Word. You are right now being asked to do everything in your power to support this union. Support Tyler and Kimber as one, not as an individual, not as a friend, not as a family member, but support the union. Tyler Douglas Borden, do you take Kimber Ariana Lysitra to be your wife and do you promise to love her, honor her, cherish her, and be faithful to her according to the commandments of God in holy matrimony? Kimber Ariana Lysitra, do you take Tyler Douglas Borden to be your husband and do you promise to love him? Honor him, respect him, and be faithful to him according to the commandments of God in holy matrimony. So it is by the grace of God.
and deep personal honor that I stayed by the power vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ and the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. consulting with Grandpa, um, and we wanted to give a tribute to Grandpa, and he wishes he could be here when he's at home resting. Um, Grandpa's one advice to you, Tyler, listen to these two words. Yes, dude. You're looking forward, and you're going to conquer the world together. So with that, everyone raise your glass. The new, happy, merrily couple to burning their bridges and starting a new life together. Here. When you asked me to marry my daughter, I told you when I walked her down the aisle, walked her down the aisle and handed her over to you, that you take care of her as good or better. And I thank you for that. And I love you guys both. Uh, let's pray. 